Hey, hey, Kia here, creative business designer for seasoned women with purpose. I craft God-inspired visions into profitable solutions. And today I am talking about how to create or the essentials you need for a bomb service business, a great solution. Okay. And sharing, uh, I was had a conversation yesterday with uh, a uh, entrepreneur that wanted to start their new service. And usually when I get into these clarity sessions, they're talking all these different ideas and I want to do this and I was thinking of doing this and offering this and these individual services. And then I want to do this and I get it. I get it. You have a lot and you could feel scattered and all over the place. But I always bring things down to a central, like at the end of the day, who do you want to help and how do you want to help them, right? That's what it's all about. And so, well, that's what I feel everything is about, is about using your God-inspired talents and gifts and your awesome and your essence, and then applying that to meet a need for somebody else that's out there. So... Once we can, and so I stay away from clients and getting them to do individual services. I don't, I genuinely, nothing against that, but I feel that it's scattered. I always create a solution that's going to meet a need and tap into exactly what they love doing. That's the formula. That's the bottom line. And so for a service base, like if you don't have products, although once I work with you, we wind up pulling some products in there <laughs> as part of your solution um, because information can be a product. Like you'll just be surprised. But anyway, getting into this, I wanted to just jump on today and talk some quick elements that you can add uh, in your business and creating your solution for clients. And this is what I use. And, um, and I also will help other clients build in their solutions. So you're providing a service. One of the first things you want to have is a compelling solution that hits the need bigly, <laughs> like huge is what your target audience is looking for. Example, I, my target audience are seasoned womenpreneurs wanting to turn their ideas into profitable solutions or seasoned professionals that want to leave their nine to five and now they want to tap in and create a business. And so they have something for me to work from, but they either don't have time, they don't know where to start. Um, they can't get the ideas out. And then even getting the ideas out, they're either a still working their job or life commitments and they can't execute it the way they want to execute it in the time they would like it executed. So I created my do everything for you solution to take my strategy, you know, strategic consulting and my design, building out their blueprints and coming up with their ideas, forming it into a total solution and then outlining every single step they need to take to make it happen. I took it one step for well 10 steps further and now I actually execute the plan for them and so all they have to do is give me content and then I build it for them. And so but that's the first part, having a compelling solution. The next piece is and that it meets the need. It will get their vision created. And it'll reduce the overwhelm. The pain in that is confusion, overwhelm, feeling stuck, not knowing what systems to use, how to use a system, if they're technologically kind of fumbling and then there's social media and, and I don't even know what to say. And yeah, I build your content strategy. I build out your platforms. They do the design so that everything is plug and play and you just have to show up and be awesome and then carry it on. So... I address the pain points, but it's not just enough to address the pain points. Like that's what you craft that solution that's going to address those pain points. But then you have to think about how are you going to deliver this solution to your ideal clients? So the first thing in a service-based business is identifying a seamless, which means easy onboarding, like bringing a new client into the fold. And what does that mean? Having uh, 
what to expect. A communication, communication, communication is so important. So what to expect. Um, it's your onboarding process. Now, this is where systems come into place. One system I specifically excuse me, I specifically like to use is HoneyBook. And the reason why I like HoneyBook is because it's been created by creatives. And it is, I found, I've used Asana, I've used Upsado. And again, those are great tools. They just didn't work for me. And so when I came across HoneyBook, it fit on how I do business. Like you have, I have my business model. And so I needed a system, an internal system that will work how I flow. And so within HoneyBook, I can create um, all my projects. I have my dashboard. I needed a place to see everything and to know what stage I was with each of my clients. And so that is why I like I to use this. But also, Talking about onboarding, I love that HoneyBook automatic, automatically has um, templates. And in these templates, it has uh, invoices, contracts, proposals, questionnaires, brochures, emails. And um, I've created, so I have my onboarding welcome, uh, offboarding. And so they have templates, but you can also customize and make your own. So what I generally do is you want to make it easy for people. Like you've done your work, you've marketed, and you've got them to the door. Now they have credit card out and they're ready to work with you. You want to make this step so easy because this is what makes or breaks businesses from being premium to being like mediocre at best, okay? It's how you bring them on board. So identifying clearly what to expect, what's next, where do they start, how do they pay, what are they getting into, okay? These details, it's the same thing with the product I did in live talking about when you buy something and you you looked online, all the benefits of it, but then when you get it, you need a reminder of why you're doing this, you know, a constant reminder of the benefit, the value you're getting out of it as you're just starting, right? Again, that like, uh, no like trust factor. So one of the things I send out is once a client is, uh, we're in the process of starting, I send a um a welcome document and I don't know, pull see if this is the right one. No, nope, that's not the one I want to send. Um, but it's a welcome document that basically tells them what it is that we are oh, here we go. Um what it is that we're getting into. This is my welcome. What it is that we're getting into, you know, a field guide to our revenue design journey together. Okay. And so I send this out and it's like, here we go. This is what it's going to look like. My first phase, we're going to come up with ideas and design, and then we're going to break this out, design it all out. I build your blueprint, but I'm, I've already communicated this, but this is goes in their inbox. They can review it on their own. I do the heavy lifting, you know, we're going to build and launch and monitor and assess. And then I give a time line okay that's like this is how it's going to start and then this is every step of the way what you're going to get okay so that's once we've already committed that they're going to work with me but I go back even further so if I get a lead which I love HoneyBook for and say that someone is not sure they're not totally sold yet I send a brochure and I love um HoneyBook because you can create um brochures and so I send this out um, and it goes, this is for my, uh, other service that I do with position to win and for federal contracting, but they'll get this brochure that kind of explains it comes in their inbox. This is what I do. Um, and this is how we can work together. And then it gives them a next step, what they can do to continue, like click here. And then while that brochure goes out, when someone's interested, which I have it coming from my website, I connect it so when they're interested in working with me, um, it's uh, oh sorry, it's a toolbox, but it's a it's a link on the website that'll send that brochure. So it comes in their inbox. Hi, glad you want to work with me. This is what I do. Blah 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 blah. This is how we work together. And, and if you're interested, click here. Which then it also notifies me. So then I'm also following up with a phone call. Like hey, I see that you're interested. Any questions I can answer. But it's that personal touch, right? 
Then once they say, yes, I want to do this, then that's when I have HoneyBook will send over the welcome email um, where they're getting, this is, you know, this is where you can link, uh, do the deposit and we get started. And they've already received that welcome document for me that that guy showed you the starter guide explaining everything that they're getting into. They get the welcome email that's like, okay, let's get started. You click here to book and pay your deposit and then we're go and book your first session. We do a deep dive intensive sessions about three to four hours um, to really get, this is my time to take everything out of your head because I'm building everything for you. I need to get everything from you. Um, once they receive that email, I send a follow-up email that is saying, before we start, you know, it's time to create, um, and it's, it's giving them more information, you know, Hey, and this is also in contracts and stuff you can put in there, but I like to just do that extra to just make it really clear. Like I'm dropping in and let you know what you can expect from me administrative documents. I sent over a non-disclosure agreement, sending this information over to protect your information. We're covering a lot. Availability. I'm available. These are the boundaries that I've set as a mompreneur. Call me here. This is the email. This is the time. Um, our workspace, right? I talk about where we're going to connect. I use HoneyBook. It has a client portal and I use Google Drive for anything over 15 um, that's too big. And then those are the two spots that we can put documents and go back and forth. And then my values, you know, what you're going to get from me is heart, mind, passion, purses, purpose, possibilities, and expertise dedicated and poured into their project. I want to make it very clear what it is that they're getting from me. And then I actually, I give them some homework that I need them to complete that will help me um, when we do get into our intensive, it gives me just more information that I need. And so it's an inspiration. I ask them questions, have them, this is all fillable. They can click on it and add images, which helps me on the design perspective, be able to get even more um you know, get more clarity on what I'm creating and capture their essence. But you don't have to do all of that, but it's just, again, outlining what is it that they're going to expect, what comes next, where to start, how to pay. I connected it to my PayPal and Stripe. HoneyBook uses Stripe only, but I also use Acuity for my scheduling for the deposit. And then I use HoneyBook for invoices after that. And so it manages between both of those. But again, systems that are already set up. So then you get through your entry and now it's time to start working, right? And so um, going to the deliverable phase, the, the, third, the, step, the third essential piece is you're interacting with authentic, thoughtful, and deliberate service. And so whatever your service is going to be, you want to show up you in all your greatness, be thoughtful and mindful in how you're delivering it. So, and then deliver with excellence. And so how that looks, you know, when I work and we get to the whole onboarding process and now it's time to get to work, roll up our sleeves and let's go in, you know, our creative design session. I send them stuff. I give them a little welcome swag bag, uh, digital, all virtual for them to have because we're going to spend a lot of time together. And so, you know, little perks that I can add to make it easier for them. Um, as we're working, I'll create, um, we do our intensive session, which is a Zoom. And we go in and it's a lot of information. I'm pulling them, I'm pulling them, I'm pulling information, asking questions, digging, making them think. It's like a lot of revelations coming out of that but then I take everything and then they can breathe easy and then of course I tag up here and there because now I build their blueprint and so I'm working on their blueprint while I give them homework to do like continue to work on content and think about this and how do you want this for your customers and things that they need to be doing also so but that's the, the brain work I'm building while they're thinking and creating and being inspired. But you want to make that easy for them. And so I then have a task implementation checklist that I use um, to outline as we're working, you know, but before they get the implementation checklist, 
this is first I build their blueprint and like I said I have I've done before they get this complete blueprint that's going to identify the solution we've created the, um, the business model the key the different partners and then the engagement strategy and this is basically this blueprint becomes what I use to build for them and so they get the first draft they'll get digital because we're building it and so we may tweak it once we start once I build it there may be things we've added and um, different it may have shifted a different way and so at the end of me creating they'll get a finalized printed blueprint. But before I get to that, I'm talking about during the working sessions, during the time. My projects take usually between three to six months. So there's a lot of time, a lot of space, a lot of emails back and forth. And what do you think about this and this? Once we've agreed on that draft document and the plan, then I take off. And so I'm just checking in. What is your thoughts on this? Approve, yay, nay, we keep moving. Give me some more content on this. What are you thinking about this, okay? And so I created this uh, progress checklist that I send them. These are the tasks we still have left to do. And these are the subtasks. And so I also use HoneyBook's timeline to put times in there. They have, under their tools, they have a timeline. Um, I have mine right now, but they have a timeline that you can set up. But I, I'm a physical person, so I like to use this task list and then I print it out and I just kind of have a checklist of what I do for my clients. But again, this is internal stuff, guys, that you need to put in your place for your business so that you can make it seamless and in, um, a seamless transition. And then everything is in their client portal where they can communicate, they can see it, they get copies of it, I upload it. So all the documents are there. Um, invoicing payments, all that's going out and it's stored in the portal. Then uh, we finish, we do another follow up and they look through everything and it's um, finalized whether I've designed their deliverables, we've, whatever those pieces are, all that's done. You want to do four, deliver a polished professional on point, whatever your solution is that you give, whatever that deliverable you give them. Like I said, mine, I do a blueprint that they get and um, along with all of their system set up, their actual product, that their, uh, whatever their solution is, all of the deliverables that are connected with that. But I don't just give it to you digitally. I also will get a gift that'll have all of the details and some niceties added in there. But you don't just want to say, okay, here's your, here's your photos. <laughs> and just send them an email with their photos. It's like, what special touches that you can add to make it feel special for them, but also be amazing and do amazing photos. And then once you close it out, the last piece is closing it out with celebration and communication and keeping them in the community. I always say, once I have a client, they're always in my community. I'm always there for them. I'm always rooting for them. Um, if things pop up in my mind, you know, I'm communicating with them. I have a, a special community and not like a Facebook community. I look for me, they're just in my circle. And because I work so intimately with them for so long, it's like, I just, we just connect. And so you want to create that follow up. And so I have a retainer package that once we've created it, it's just kind of, we follow up and it's maintenance and assessment and monitoring, um, but those are things you can add to your business to have a bomb service-based business that's going to really stick in people's minds. It's going to feel premium. It's going to feel quality. And again, you want to deliver on what you do. But these are just some simple things. You don't, by all means, have to use any of this, these tools. But I just wanted to share, um, because I had a conversation yesterday with a young lady and um, she wanted to start her business and again she was everywhere with services and I was like let's pull it into a solution we came up with a solution for the pricing it was kind of on the back of the napkin kind of quick but this stuff stays in my head so it was like okay boom this is what you're going to do this is how you do it this is what you can serve this is how you can offer it and it gave her clarity and it, it narrowed it down to a solution and who she wanted to serve 
and thinking about all the ways she could help them and other things that would make it even better for them. So service first, guys. If you think about serving, if you think about who you want to serve, you think about what you love doing and how it can meet that need. And then you especially pay attention to ways that you can deliver it with excellence, with that thoughtfulness, the authenticity, authentically you, but also very special and resonates with what they're looking for and meets those pain points, you will have a bomb solution that people will be coming back to you, referring to you and just thriving. So that's the tip today. That's the lesson. Again, essentials of a bomb service. I'll go back over it again. Five things, a compelling solution, a seamless, easy onboarding, um, deliver with excellence and interacting with authenticity, thoughtfulness, and communicating with excellence while you're working on your solution. And then four, delivering a polished professional and on point deliverable, whatever that is, whether it's a product solution, it's a blueprint, it's a framework, it's a photo album, whatever it is that you offer, you want to make sure you give it to them polished and professional and awesome. And then finally, closing out with a celebration and a way to keep them connected and to um, celebrate the success and, and to build that community around your clients and make it special for them. So hope this helps. Talk to you later.